Welcome back, roguelike fans. Um, we got another 2008 seven-day roguelike that was completed outside the 2008 seven-day roguelike window uh, for the challenge. Another 2008 seven-day roguelike, yeah, but not a challenge. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, uh, this is called Alan's Psychedelic Journey. I really don't know much about it. Uh, there's no uh, readme text that explains anything about it. There's not a lot of data on it. Other than that, the... Uh, However one plays, which I don't know how to play, the developer himself has mentioned, well, one thing it says here is pick one pick one of the downloads available, download it, unpack it, and pray that it works. It works, so that's cool. Oh, and by the way, I've scored over 19,000 points in the game. This is what he says. I'm anxiously waiting for someone to post a character dump of 20k point game. Obviously, we're going to do that on our first try. Let's dive in. I haven't got a lot of time today, so we're going to kind of rip through this and, uh, and see what happens. Alan had always been a curious lad. As a child, he used to constantly find himself in trouble because of his, curi because of his curiosity. But even when he grew up, he didn't want to get rid of his defining characteristic. Because, you know, great things await those who know to look for them. One day, Alan's curiosity found himself in a large forest. So apparently Alan didn't find him there. Just his curiosity found itself there. Um, <laughs> while nosing around... Sorry. I'm sorry I'm attacking grammar. This is kind of fun sometimes. Uh, and while nosing around for anything of interest, he came to an entrance to a dungeon that might have looked scary to anyone else. But Alan was only interested by it. Cool, he though, as he blindly entered the dungeon, not having the patience to let his eyes get used to the dim light. I wonder what kind of secrets this place hides. Before I forget, we should also just note who made this. Um, I don't believe it's Alan. Uh, who, who fucking made this? Give me two seconds. I want to let you know, and then we're going to go um, back. Oh, gee willikers. What is this? This is by jo Jomiolto. I don't believe I've ever seen that name associated with roguelikes so far. This may maybe his one and only entry, or maybe it's just the first of his entries. We'll see. But here we go. Um, I like the, pr the simple premise. Just a dude, just a brave kid who finds a fucking dungeon and says, I'm going to go in. That's awesome. All right. Enter. Here we go. All right, nice, uh, simple ASCII. Welcome to Alan's Psychedelic Journey. Press F1 or H or question mark to get help. This dungeon smells like mushrooms? Our health is excellent. Our visions is zero. Our level is one. Are you trying to get out, Kiri? I'm pressing question mark, by the way. Get out of here, then. Here you go. Guide Alan on his journey through the dungeon and try to keep him alive by avoiding slash eating mushrooms. So either avoid them or eat them. And other edible things you might find on the way. Alan is not a fighter, so you should avoid any monsters you might see. Good to know. Drink beer to replenish yourself. How old is this kid? Uh, but don't get too drunk or you'll be running at the walls. And look out for bottles of booze. Jesus Christ, kid. You are adventurous. They might have really unusual effects. There are also rumors about a secret level in the dungeon if you just know where or how to look for it. Um, Alright, arrow keys to move. No, there's no diagonal movement. Okay, we'll use the arrow keys. Uh, numpad also works if you have the numlock on, but we'll use the arrow keys. Um, H or question mark go. Okay, we know this. Uh, quit is that? Yep, that's capital Q. Thank you for for specifically spelling that out. A lot of games just kind of assume you're you're gonna grasp that. Especially new roguelike players won't even make that distinction. M display the message memory. Climb down with the usual thing. Look is L. Space is wait. Drink is D if you have something to drink. All right, let's press enter to return to the game. Uh, let's start by looking. What the fuck is that? You see a small red mushroom. We're not hurt, so let's try not eating it. It did say something about avoiding mushrooms, right? Uh, how do we get out of look? Press L, maybe? Press Q to quit, maybe? Q, okay. So we have this nice highlight around us, so it's easy to figure where we are. Wait, what is that? Is that another mushroom? A small pink mushroom. All right. Uh, Q. Oh, damn it. I bumped into it. I thought it would give me an option to eat it. You come upon a delicious-looking small red mushroom. This dude is like, what, is he just going to sample it because he's like, fuck, I see something I need to eat? This guy's just voracious. <clears throat> you should probably be careful with mushrooms since Alan likes them to the point of obsession. Okay. <laughs> and he might have a taste of them, no matter how red and spotted they might be. Good to know. Okay. What is that? A large red mushroom. Fuck, there's just nothing but mushrooms along this path, so I guess we have to go back the way we came. Yum! Ouch! Your stomach hurts. Fuck. 
Well, I'm, I'm, it's either that or we gotta go. This is kind of interesting so far. You come upon a delicious looking small pink mushroom. Yum! Wow, everything's so full of colors. <laughs> Here's Alan's psychedelic journey being uh, realized. Fuck, oomph. The boy is blocked. What the fuck, Alan? He's randomly, he's, looking, he's like down in, a, down in a cave looking for booze and random fungi to eat. This kid needs a hobby. May I suggest roguelegging? Uh oh. So it looks like we have to go through the uh, the mushrooms I was previously trying to avoid. Okay, the psychedelic aspect, the psychedelia has worn off. Although it may resume right here. There you go. Maybe you don't eat a second mushroom when you're when you're. Um, oh, maybe I did eat it. I don't know. Our health is still excellent though. All right, it's worn off. This is gonna hurt my stomach, as I understand it. Okay, yum, ouch, your stomach hurts. It definitely made a, a difference and hurt me. A large red mushroom. Yum, you have a vision. We've had one vision, whatever that means. Let's press a uh, space. Okay, I have a vision. Did it, did it fill in the map or anything? I don't know. We have visions one. We don't know what that means. You find a bottle of beer. You pick it up for a later use. You find another bottle of beer. You pick it up for a later use. <laughs> Literally just finding discarded alcohol. I think Alan may have a problem. Uh, several problems, frankly. <clears throat> another bottle of beer. Okay, this is not the way we want to go. We will drink... If our, if our health comes down from good, we'll drink it. Uh, fuck. A delicious looking small green mushroom. I mean, we didn't eat it for some reason. Maybe it's a random chance? Yum. Ouch, your stomach hurts. Fuck, Alan, you've learned. Have you not learned? That... Uh, I guess no matter how red and spotted they are. All right, let's go for it. Why didn't I go for the green? What is what is wrong with me? Our health is still good. All right, let's get this bottle of beer and let us get. Uh, let's go look here. Just to know, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, let's go down a level here. All right, let's avoid mushrooms. Oh, fuck, we're gonna get all psychedelic here. Okay, he didn't eat it, so it seems like maybe a, maybe a coin toss as to whether you eat them or not. Okay. Yum, yeah, wow, everything's full, full of colors. Bottle of beer for later use. We haven't seen any monsters yet, just fucking mushrooms that our dude can't... We haven't yet once decided to eat a green mushroom. Okay, there we did. Yum, what? The walls are moving. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Different kind of psychedelia. We can't quite tell where we're going. Oh, that's fucking neat. <laughs> I'm, I'm working off memory here. Jesus Christ. Okay, our health is down. Okay, let's try inventory, maybe? Uh, question mark. How do we drink? D. Enter. D. You have five bottles of beer. Do you want to drink one? Yes. Our health is now good. Let's drink another one. Oh, no, it's not not, not doing another one. We don't get drunk. It's bad enough for fucking eating fucking random funga. Fungi. All right, we didn't eat that one. Thank God. He appears to really like the red ones. I don't think we've... You suddenly feel very afraid of lizards. Okay... Did I eat something that we may have made us the vision? Kicking in? I don't know. The hell was that about? Well, there's a bottle of beer up there. Let's go get it. Yeah, we seem to eat the red one, like, without fail. We're like, oh, fuck, there's a nice, uh, nice red mushroom. Let's eat it. There's a blue one here. I didn't mean to G forget. Uh, should I try the blue one? Just to find out. A green lizard tramples you. Ouch! Okay. That is that would that would be clearly an ouch. Is that real? Did a lizard actually trample me, or is this? I feel what we're trying to do. What are we trying to do? I'm just gonna quickly glance at this again. I feel what our mission is. Should we be going down here? Uh, we don't know, do we? We have no idea. I, I think it was a previous game we were playing uh, Cryptover where I was reading and it told us the mission, and I commented on the fact that hey, there's our mission. With this game, I don't know what our mission is. Let's let's go down. Is there a victory condition, or is it purely a game where you can get 19,000 slash 20,000 points? Let's try the big capital T. Obviously, the large one is going to be fine. Ah, the green ones are always wall moving walls. Fuck. Let's just we'll go back and forth right here. Okay, it's, it's wearing off, I hope. Stop being fucking stoned. Alan, you son of a bitch. Now it's all fucking psychedelic. Here's some booze, maybe? Okay, bottle of beer, bottle of beer. Let's try drinking one. 
Yes, you want to drink one? You feel better. I'm drink a second one. I want my health at good. Oh, we're still in the okay. Fuck. This is a, an interesting premise. Um, is that L? Do we think that L is a lizard? That is a pink lizard. I'm sure we're supposed to avoid all monsters, so let's just stay the fuck away from it. Um, let's see if we can't get out of here. Uh, Q to get out of the look. That's our first monster we've seen. It's an unusual premise for a game, that's for sure. I don't know that we have any option. We have to go by... The lizard doesn't seem to be moving. Oof, the way is blocked. So we're going to have to go here. You come upon... Okay, we're fucking stoned again. And we're eating shit that hurts us. Good for us. Drink. Yes, drink a bottle of beer. Our health is still only okay. It might instantly cure the psychedelic effects when you do that. I'm not sure. Green lizard tramples us. Oh, is it in our square? Are they are they sometimes invisible? Let's try drinking and see if it gets rid of... Uh, all right, we're instantly... Bizarrely, drinking alcohol helps with drug hallucinations. The I, I think the, the warning, kids, don't try that at home, it goes without saying. I hope it does. Don't mix drugs and alcohol. And certainly the effect you're looking for will not be to bring you down. As, as a general rule, I suppose a depressant might bring you down from uh, some sort of amphetamine kick, but I, I, I don't advise it. Don't fucking mix drugs and alcohol. All right. We're going to go down because I, I really don't know what else we're trying to do. <clears throat> Got a bottle of beer. Um, yeah, I just wish we knew what our objective was. It's interesting. I'm intrigued. I've never seen any, I've never seen gameplay quite like this. This is uh, again some nice points for for uniqueness factor that you you get tempted to eat these fucking mushrooms in passing. Yeah, we didn't eat that red one, but you don't automatically do it. Um, I think that's fascinating. But it, I would I would be enjoying it more undeniably if I knew what I was trying to do. I'm just ran. I'm just descending. Uh oh, yum! Your vision blurs. What? How did you get here? That's interesting. It's a teleportation thing. <laughs> Fuck me. Let's drink some fucking alcohol. It doesn't seem to... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. I, I'm going to have to drink this one, too. Or eat this one. You stumble. I wonder if we just took damage for stumbling. Oh, maybe we're fucking drunk. You stumble. I wonder if we're moving in a random direction, and it, it would move us in a random direction if we weren't hitting a wall, say? I don't know. <clears throat> Pardon me. Fuck. <laughs> we have no choice but to go back there again. Okay. Oh, that worked out. That was a good one. Oh, man. I wouldn't mind getting those beers. Beers. Is the plural of beers beer? Or beers? I genuinely don't know. All right, we got a lot of alcohol here. Let's head down. Let's get this booze, this bottle of booze. Oh, we can't? You find a bottle of booze. You gulp down the bottle. We had no. We apparently we have no self control with alcohol either. Beer, we can we can say okay, we'll put this in our backpack. But booze and mushrooms were like, hey, look what I found. Why don't I put it in my mouth? What the? Where are you? What happened? You stumble. So uh, booze may work similarly. I I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> fucking let's drink some fucking beer. Here, our health is back to good. Jesus Christ. Looks like there's two staircases, maybe? Both of them lead up. We don't want to go up, do we? To the best of my knowledge, we don't. He also mentioned he had a score of, you know, 19,000. I don't see any indication of score, so I have no idea how we're faring in that department. I stumble. I've eaten too much fucking alcohol. Yay! Drink it down. What the what? Do we go down a level or something even? Maybe. We're, we are in a staircase. Maybe maybe it brings you down to the next level when you grab that. If our objective is to descend, that's a good thing. I don't know what our objective is, though. Whoa. I'm going left. Looks like you can only be under the... Um, 
think you can only be under the effects of one type of psychedelia at a time. Like if you, if the walls start moving, the colors stop shifting and that kind of thing. The walls are moving. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> Completely wrong about that fact. What good timing to display my ignorance on this. You come upon a deliciously small, looking small green mushroom. Yum, garg, you feel absolutely insane. Let's fucking drink some alcohol to compound this issue. Because our health is poor. All right. We feel better, but it's, everything's still colorful. I'm drinking a second one. Now our health is okay, at least. Bottle of beer. All right, the colors are dying down, I think. But everything's still fucking fucked up. Jesus Christ, Alan, what have you done? What compelled you to come down here? I don't know where we're going. It doesn't seem to be in this direction, though. All right, we didn't we didn't drink that or eat that one. We did that one. Yeah, bizarre gameplay. I can't uh, complain about it though. It's it's it is undeniably interesting and unique. And I like I like that aspect. God, I think we need to drink more. Like our health is poor. I don't know how. Like when does our health bottom out? Is there a level below poor? Is there like you're now you're fucked or is it just poor lead to death? Health. Now you're fucked. Arg. <laughs> this is a fucked up game. I think I I'm sure that obviously being a fucked up game is the intent. <laughs> oh yay. What the fuck? All right, well we missed a bottle of alcohol back here anyway. So, oh, it was a bottle of booze no less. Which we can't pick up. That just fuck. That just uh shoots us forward sometimes. There might be a lizard coming up. I can't tell. Because of my fucking drugged nature. Son of a... Alright, we avoided eating that. You have a vision. What does that mean? I'm missing that... Key. Oh, maybe, it, maybe that allows you to see lizards? Or... The lizard's not... A, oh, our health is fucking awful. Let's drink fucking yes. Let's drink fucking yes. Let's get drunk out of our fucking gourd. I drank like fucking six of them. And I'm just okay. Jesus Christ, of course I stumble. I can barely see what the fuck I'm doing. Ugh. There's no way to... Is there a way to pass your turn? Can we just press space? Maybe we can. I don't want I don't want a bottle of booze. That's the last thing I fucking want. <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> Alan's psychedelic journey. Very unique. Oh, what the fuck? Where am I? I literally oh there I am. It's got a highlight on you. Okay. Alright, well I was wondering if this might have been where the stairs are. It's not. You can apparently press space to pass your turn. Which is interesting to note. Jesus Christ. You have a vision. That, that I guess, is good. Do we want the big capital T's? Is that a good thing? It is keeping track of them at the bottom. Although we are, uh... Hurt. All right, we're back to poor. I stumble. When we get down to... Awful, we will go back to poor. Like it's just getting progressively worse, right? A blue lizard tramples us. Ouch. Jesus fucking Christ, Blue Lizard, leave me the fuck alone. I'm pressing space, okay. We are no longer just... Oh, is that a big fucking lizard? Is that a big lizard? You see a magic lamp! That may be our objective, do you think? Let's press Q. Let's take this, our fucking health is awful. Yes, I want to drink beer. You come upon a magical lamp without much of a conscious thought. You snatch the lamp and examine its shiny, golden greatness. As you gaze at your new treasure, you notice a patch of dirt on it and carefully you rub it with your thumb. 
Suddenly, a bright white light erupts from the lamp and bathes you in warmth for a second, before you suddenly feel yourself cast through spaces to a destination unknown. Press enter to continue. I've done so. Congratulations, you have guided Alan to his first great thing on his mythical journeys of curiosity, and his first successful journey has just come to an end. Press enter to continue. Press enter, uh, please enter a file name for the character dump. Jeff. One. So you remember, it's the first time he played. Or just press enter for dumb.txt. Okay, that's, that's that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna open this fucking file while I have you here and see what our score was. I'm guessing that, here it is. It doesn't list it as text. Um, open with, I'm gonna open it with, uh, where's my fucking notepad? Here we go. Alan's Psychedelic Journey Character Dump. Can I switch to this for you? Can I do that? I'm going to switch to this right now for you. Um, so you can see the glory of... This is all, all these read me no There we go. There we go. Congratulations. You guided Alan successfully through his journey. You scored 5,346 points, although I don't know what garnished those points. Garnered, pardon me, not garnished. Garnered those points. I don't know what I did. So I don't know how to get a better score. Your journey lasted 860 turns. Your final health was 42 out of 100. You ate 5 blue mushrooms, 14 green mushrooms, and 21 purple mushrooms on your white purple? I don't know if I have noticed any purple. You had 3 enlightening visions. You were left with 8 bottles of beer. Well, that was worth it. Going to a cave and emerging with 8 bottles of beer, obviously. Well, that's cool, guys. It's another another fucking win on our first try. Um, we didn't get the 19,000 that the dude who made it got. Uh, Jomiololo, or whatever his name was. What was his name? Let's just look at that again. Uh, Jomiolto. Jo Jomiolto. Um, I'll include a link to where you yourself can have an amazing psychedelic journey. Um, you know what? I, 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 it's not a game I think I'm going to be returning to. It's not like a game I'm like, holy fuck, how do I... Especially not knowing how to improve the score. I see no reason to dive back into that right now. Um, if anybody plays the game and, and gets a better understanding of how you get it, is it just how many how many visions you can have? I don't know. Or does, does the fact that we came up with eight bottles of beer give us a, a better score? Like, is that the treasure you emerge with? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's not something I feel like diving into again anytime soon. But that said, uh, it was it was fun and it was unique and it was interesting and I'm glad we I'm glad we had Alan's psychedelic journey with him. All right, I'm off. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Um, I'll include a link where you can download it. Uh, please do so. Let me hey, let me know if you beat fifty three forty six, and please let let everybody know, including Jomi Alto, if you beat nineteen thousand. See ya.